the map function. Now a map function allows us to apply a function to every single item in an iterable object. So let's say that what we want to do is we want to get the length of all of the different strings in this list. Well, we could iterate through every single one of these strings, manually apply the length function, and then just print it out or store it in a new list. But instead, we can actually use the map function that does all of this for us. So I can say the length is equal to, and then I can use my map function. And the first thing I pass to the map function is the function that I want to apply to all of the different items in my iterable. So in this case, I pass the len function. We can pass our own function, or in this case, a built-in one in Python. And then I pass the iterable that I want to apply this to, which is strings. Now what I can do is I can print out, and I need to convert this to a list because again, this is going to return an iterator, so it's going to return a map object. If we want to see all of the results, then we need to first convert it to a list. And now if I run my code, you see that it gives me the length of all of these different items. So it simply took this function, applied it to every single item that was in this list, and then gave me that result inside of, in this case, a new list, or really a new iterable that we converted to a list. Now, in this case, we used a, a built-in function in Python, but we can also use a custom function that we write ourselves. Now, it's common here to use what's known as a lambda function. A lambda function is a one-line anonymous function where you can do something like lambda, you can pass a parameter, in this case, it will be x, and then if we want, we could do something like x plus s. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna pass every single one of the strings to this function as the parameter x, and we're simply gonna add an s to all of these different strings. So now what I'm gonna do is write the, run this code story, and you can see we get an s tacked on to every single one of these strings. 